I'm Ellen McCauley at the very exciting and wish you were here session 15 of Pray It Off. And I want to start out by saying, how many people here have made some New Year's resolutions? A few, a few. I don't think New Year's resolutions work. And I agree with this uh, article right here. Because if we've ever made one before, I'm 60 years old, I started gaining weight at 10, so I probably had a New Year's resolution to lose weight for like uh, 50 years. And, you know, I'm not saying you can't try to do something and work at it, but people usually do what they want to do. You know, they go, oh, you know, I know that I'm going to pray it off every week, but I really can't give up my pizza and wings on Friday. That's what we do. And, you know, Thomas Cranmer held this view of human nature. What the heart loves, the will chooses, and the mind justifies. The mind doesn't direct the will. The mind is actually captive to what the will wants. And the will itself, in turn, is captive to what the heart wants. And the heart wants a brownie. The heart always wants a brownie. What we need to do, though, is through the grace of God and the intercession, have being healthy more important to us than overeating. And that's not something that happens in a day, a week, a month, a year. It's something that you have to commit a lifetime to. According to research, 80% of those who make resolutions on January 1 have given up by Valentine's Day. You go to Weight Watchers, you go to any weight loss group, except for Pray It Off. You go to them January 1, the gym parking lot's packed. You go in February, you're like, whoa, I had bought a parking spot, no problem. Because people have given up on their resolutions. One of the things, now this article is tough because this writer is saying, you need to love God with your entire being and love your neighbor as your, with your entire being. Because it's so hard to make lifestyle changes, and we're usually doomed to failure if we try to do it on, my, on your own. Every time I tried to lose weight on my own, I did. I was the best Weight Watchers there. I'd go, boom, 100 pounds off. I'd be a star. I'd be waving at people like Miss America. Yes, it's me. Yes, I lost 100 pounds. And then when I gained that 100 pounds back, I was hiding in a corner, <laughs> quitting. Anyone can lose weight. The challenge and the goal is to consistently keep it off. And let's just talk about how not all resolutions are good. Why do we want to lose weight? And I think the majority, I think just about everyone in this group wants to lose weight because they want to be healthy, because they want to live good lives, strong lives. They want to love and serve the Lord and their family. I, does anyone here want to be a centerfold model for uh, a magazine? Oh, Mary Ellen, keep working, baby, keep working. Uh, Catherine Wessels, too. I, I think that's a, that's a very good goal. Most of us want to be healthy, and if they do call or tap us on the shoulder, Ellen, we'd like you for that centerfold. I, I, I'm up. One of the things that people say is, is it a good resolution? You know, if you want to eat less, move more, and pray, that's good. So why don't we just do it? Why do we say, well, I know I joined January 8th, but I got that big party Saturday night, and then there's that wedding, and then there's this. Isn't there always something? Isn't there? Al there's always something. And we need to make a choice. You don't have to go there and have your sackcloth on and go, I can't eat anything. I'm on a diet. <laughs> what you need to do is say, through the grace of God, I'm going to have some healthy choices here. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and love your neighbor. I love the Pray It Off group. The 20 new people, I kind of like you. I'm not to love just yet. Give me a couple weeks. But the other ones, I love you. I love you as a, as a Christian, but I mean, i got to get to know you. Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit to work in us. He gave us grace. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and varied changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You know, the other day I was driving to work and it was snowing, it was icing, and I thought, I'm alive. All of us. Everybody in this room, we are alive. We're breathing, we're walking, we're talking. So we got a couple of pounds to lose. Poor us. 
Don't you realize how many people would give anything to be alive, to live this walk, to, to just be here? Let's just get rid of the weight, love and serve our Lord and Savior, and just say, I'm alive. I'm going to stop right there, Bobby.